Hey, welcome back. This is diving more into, uh, so if you don't know, Logan Paul finally opened up his case. The case was filled with fake uh, Pokemon first edition booster boxes. Uh, however, I'm not very surprised by it. Uh, as I said in my original video of Butt Theory, uh, there's, there's a lot of reasons why this doesn't make sense to why Logan Paul would make this purchase. And there was more facts that I didn't know that even adds more true to my idea that there's a money laundering slash market manipulation element to this. So not only did Logan Paul buy the one case of six, he also bought five individual actual factual true authenticated known for sure first edition base set booster boxes. So. I don't know what his price were for the other five, but we know for these six, he paid $3.5 million. And uh, at $3.5 million for six, that comes out to just over $580,000 per box. There's a lot of reasons why this doesn't make sense. And there's a lot of reasons why I think it was done on purpose. I think it was known that the boxes were fake. And like, here's kind of my main reasoning why. Now, granted, these are a couple months old. <clears throat> it's kind of hard to find good listings. Um, I originally was trying to find the most recently sold listing for an actual booster box. True, that is a hard thing to find. But let's say you do it by packs. And let's say you were to do it by heavy packs, which would be the more valuable pack. Well, most packs, even at the heavy, and this is an English first edition pack, uh, heavy is $2,550 each. Uh, so I went ahead and just went ahead and rounded it up to 3,000. There's 36 packs per booster box. That means if you were to pay a premium on the amount of packs, so if you were to pay $3,000 per pack, per heavies, you would pay $108,000. That's paying a premium. So it makes no sense. So the only reason why I would think Logan Paul would do this to where he would say he paid $3.5 million for these fake boxes um, <coughs> is to increase the value of his own, the actual true five he has. Um, as far as I'm aware of, I don't think he really mentions the price <coughs> for the other five he bought, but we know the price he paid for the fake six. And again, as I said, by him doing this, by him stating that he was willing to pay $583,000 per one of these boxes, it helps kind of justify increase the price for these boxes. And the thing is, <coughs> we're actually not seeing that right now in the market. So this is just the individual packs. These are a couple months ago. Um, I don't have it set by date, I have it set by price, so as we scroll up, now, some of these I don't think were real sales, uh, for example, I don't think these were real sales, there's only one bid, uh, I think someone just closed it out, um, even though, it's, I know it's not even English, it's German, but it's still first edition, uh, or supposed to be, <coughs> I don't think that box is first edition, but either way, I think that price is a little low, um, this isn't first edition, oh, this is first edition. So this was, well, oh, $1,000 shipping. I don't know if this was the actual sale, but $4,000 for three, I think you get what I'm getting at. Uh, this is ironic because it has one of the, uh, that's not even the original price. I remember when booster packs were about three, four dollars in stores. Uh, so that was a rebot from a card store. But let me get back up to the boxes. So for example, <coughs> I know this isn't first edition base set, but this is first edition jungle. And I do believe this was the actual sale. And these were up there when when Dumb Money was buying his his fake box for three hundred thousand. Um, but these have drastically come down in price. Um, I don't think I think Logan is just trying to manipulate the market. I, I don't think the actual prices or values are there. Um, I'll continue going up. <coughs> I don't think this is an actual sale. Uh, this seems a little high. Compared, now this makes more sense with it being PSA. This doesn't make a whole lot of sense compared to just a month ago. They were three thousand dollars each. They were less than three thousand dollars each. Um, <coughs> this has me a little bit concerned because it has twenty-four bids on it, which makes me question 
if it was a legit sale, and of course, you know, question the authentic, authentic, authenticity behind it, uh, because this one is a different print than this, um, but again, uh, $10,000, <coughs> uh, this is, I don't think this one's real, I don't think either of these two are real, <coughs> just, that's super high, uh, and it, it doesn't correlate properly. This, I question, because this was 66 bids, and it says it sold <coughs> at $10,100. But there's some things that make me wonder about it. The box seems a little funny just in the picture. Again, I don't think this is a real, a real sale. This, I think, is real, <coughs> and I know this isn't first edition, I know this isn't English, but it's a Spanish base set booster box, $11,000. Here's a first edition uh, booster box, English. Uh, it says Pokemon display base set. <coughs> Pretty certain it's supposed to be the box with the cards, but that seems a little low. Uh, here's the uh, German version first edition. Sorry, I got a cough, guys. Um, that seems like a real sale, but you can see, I know it's not English, but the price difference, especially if you're talking about $580,000 per box, it doesn't equate properly. I just want to take more of a look at, oh, well, error page. But either way, it doesn't make sense. This is what it would come out to. If you're willing to pay a premium, $3,000 each for heavy packs, sealed, first edition, base sets. <coughs> so, I mean, you can do it for the vine all you want, but the price doesn't justify it. I don't think this was intentionally done. Like, I don't think he intentionally bought that hoping to get the real thing. I think he intentionally bought it knowing it would be fake, I think it was staged, I think it was just to try and manipulate the market to justify the cost of his other five. I mean, we just did the basic math, guys, and this is shooting at a premium. Sure, the only thing you don't get is the box, but you can buy the first edition base set box empty on eBay, I think they cost like a grand. So if you bought all the packs heavy at a premium of three grand per pack, it costs you $110,000 and then that to get your, your, your box. But no one really cares about the box as far as I'm aware. Everyone cares about the cards. So, and everyone knows heavy packs are the, are deemed the good pack. So, you would save yourself the trouble of a few unheavy packs. You would get all heavy packs. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Thanks for watching. This was Butt Theory. Deeper in the butt. Let's go.